Mental health is at the forefront of, of conversations around the recent pandemic, but it's a topic that's been top of mind for student athletes for much longer. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, sports reporter Ben Bobick sat down with medical experts, coaches, and student athletes to talk about what's being done to end the stigma when it comes to mental health in sports. Suck it up. You're fine. Don't be soft. College athletes know it all too well. Good, that's all right, that's all right. I think uh, we live in a society that is like kind of glorifies pushing through the pain. Um, so I think that really plays into uh, athletes experiencing that. And I definitely, I mean, experience that for sure. But the stigma of mental health in sports is changing. You're going to switch and you're just going to stick on it. Okay. Your job. okay. Because I think sometimes the older generation feels like we're enabling people or just kind of letting them be, you know, kind of soft or something like that. And yes, there's a point where we have to teach people what it means to have courage and perseverance. We're kind of lacking that a little bit, the, the ability to grit it out and persevere through something. But then there's also the other side, which is while you're doing that, are you also like grinding yourself into the ground, having a healthy view? Are your standards for yourself appropriate? Mental wellness isn't graded during physical tests. It's up to the student athlete to report that they need help. The athletes don't want to be injured. Uh, they don't want to be sad. They don't want to feel like that there's something going on and then it's a hard thing to present to an athletic trainer or to a coach that says, hey, you know, I'm not feeling great. You know, I feel like I might be depressed. The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga fields 16 Division I sports. The stakes are high and sometimes young people aren't ready for it. You know, you're not a hometown hero anymore. You're playing for on a really big stage in front of lots of people that's, you know, televised most of the time. So it's um, just thinking like you have to be mentally strong, mentally tough, but in reality, you know, a lot of us aren't and that's okay. And that's why we have people that are there to help us. And it's just reaching out to those people to get help is really important. We've had us a few guys, you know, lead a team because of mental health um, issues. So. It's not a first time thing, it's sure not, it sure well won't be a last time, but we are trying to do our best to encourage guys to speak up and don't be afraid and, and don't listen to the outside. So, you know, your teammates are there, your coaches are there. So stick with them and everything else will follow along and plan. Eliminating anxiety and depression may never happen, but at UTC, making it okay to admit you're struggling is the ultimate goal. At this year's convention, the NCAA's chief medical officer, Dr. Brian Hainline, said that mental health is the single most important health and safety issue facing our student athletes today. You know, once big power five conferences and mid-major conferences, you know, all get on the same page about the expectations and standards of mental health across the board, I think, um, I think it's going to be amazing. I think that the stigma is going to be torn down and people are going to be able to talk about how they feel, how they played, um, and what they can improve on in a positive manner. The NCAA and student athletes admit they can't claim victory yet, but if you look at where they came from, it's easy to see progress is being made on the way to where they're headed. You know, I think the more that uh, athletes are able to be vulnerable and it's like, yeah, this is uh, kind of name feelings or name, you know, how things are are affecting them, uh, the more people, like, an increase in that, people are going to be like, oh, okay, like, I'm not, on a, I'm not on an island here. Continue to push for talking about your feelings, like, you're not weak, you're not soft for wanting, or for talking about anything. The stigma of mental health is gone. The thinking that it's such a bad thing that it doesn't need to be talked about, like, that, that's not existed anymore in our conference, and I'm so thankful for that. Reporting in Chattanooga, Ben Bobick, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports. Our thanks to Ben Bobick for that report. If you or someone you know needs help, call the number you see there on your screen, 800-273-8255, to speak with a counselor at your area crisis center.